I went to Carlo's house yesterday. I saw him last week. Irregular verbs in the simple past tense. Goals. Learn about irregular verbs. Discuss ideas to learn irregular verbs. Talk about strategies to use in conversation when you don't know an irregular verb. Study 12 common irregular verbs. And discuss how in the simple past, verbs remain in the same form for all subjects. For regular verbs, we have rules to make the past tense. We add ed to the end of the word. For example, work plus ed equals worked. But there are no rules to make the past tense of irregular verbs. For example, the past tense of come is came. The past tense of get is got. The past tense of think is thought. The past tense of see is saw. And the past tense of go is went. So how do we learn the past tense of irregular verbs? You can look up the words you need on a word list. There is a link to this list in the video notes. Be sure to look up the past tense in the column marked past simple. Ideas to learn irregular verbs. Don't try to memorize all the verbs in the list. Learn the verbs that are important to you. Learn the verbs you hear people using in conversation. Look up the verbs that you want to use and practice using them in conversation. But what if you don't know or can't remember an irregular verb during a conversation? Try to think of a different verb that you can use. For example, you make some amazing cookies and you want to tell your friend about them. But you can't remember the past tense of make. You could change the verb and say, I baked some amazing cookies. So use bake, which is a regular verb, instead of make. Or here's another example. You go to a rock concert and want to tell a friend about it but you can't remember the past tense of go. You could change the verb and say, I was at a rock concert last night. Now let's get started by learning 12 irregular verbs. To help you remember them, we are going to put them into a story. Repeat, yesterday Bob thought he had an appointment with the dentist. Thought is the past tense of think. Repeat, he got up early. Got is the past tense of get. And did his exercises. Did is the past tense of do. He said goodbye to his wife. Said is the past tense of say. And went to the bus stop. Went is the past tense of go. He waited 15 minutes, but the bus never came. Came is the past tense of come. He knew the buses arrived. Every 10 minutes on weekdays. Knew is the past tense of no. What was the problem? He became worried about his appointment. Became is the past tense of become. He pulled out his phone and gave the dentist's office a call. 
Gave is the past tense of give. Nobody answered. That's strange, he thought. Thought is the past tense of think. He saw the home screen on his phone. Saw is the past tense of see. And found the problem. Found is the past tense of find. It was Sunday. The buses didn't run on Sundays. And the dentist's office was closed. Now let me read you the entire Bob story and you listen. Yesterday, Bob thought he had an appointment with the dentist. He got up early and did his exercises. He said goodbye to his wife and went to the bus stop. He waited 15 minutes, but the bus never came. He knew the buses arrived every 10 minutes on weekdays. What was the problem? He became worried about his appointment. He pulled out his phone and gave the dentist's office a call. Nobody answered. That's strange, he thought. He saw the home screen on his phone and found the problem. It was Sunday. The bus didn't run on Sundays and the dentist's office was closed. Now for the good news. In the simple past tense, the verb is the same for all subject types. You don't need a separate form for singular and plural. So if you look at the two verbs below, work and go, the form of the verb stays the same no matter what the subject type is. If you like this video or found it helpful, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and share it and tell your friends about it. Thank you.